Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, Adobe Form Translation into Other Languages. And in the previous video, we discussed whenever you want to do the translation of Adobe Form, you can directly go to SC63 or from SFP transaction code also, you can navigate to SC63. Now, in this video, we will cover important points, extremely important points, because during that translation of Adobe Forms, Adobe Form, you, we face some challenges. How we can overcome those challenges that will also be covered in this video, especially whenever we are translating for the second time, third time, then we will face challenges. For the first time, there will be no challenges. But when we do that translation multiple times, at that time, we will face challenges and we will see how we can overcome those challenges. Now, I will simply, simply go to SC63 transaction code. We all know this is SC63 transaction code. You can go through SFP also, no problem. I will click on to other text. And I will go for Q5 PDF based forms. I will go for PDF B PDF based forms. I will put the name of my Adobe form. Yes. And we will go from English to German. Suppose our target language is German. I will go for edit. Now the first important point. I already did that translation one time when I practiced yes. So that's why I'm getting the status green. And it is important point. One time you do the translation of your Adobe form. The status is always, always green after that. Why I'm saying this? Because whenever you will do the translation for the first time, you will get a red symbol here, not translated. Please take care for the same because I cannot revert this. So that's why for me, the status is coming green already. If you are coming for the first time for the translation of that PDF form, you will get a green, you will get a red signal here, not translated. For me, it is coming green because when I practiced, it converted to green. Yes. And one time it converted to green, then we cannot revert back. Yes. Now it is translated. For you, if you are doing for the first time, it will be in red and not translated. Now, whenever you are coming for the first time, you will see this portion as completely blank, completely. You will get a text into English language, but this will be completely blank. Please take care for those points because I already did the translation one time. That's why I'm getting a text here. You will see a blank, completely blank here if you are doing for the first time. Now, what you have to do after that? You will find a button here, copy source text. Whenever you will click on to copy source text, whatever is here, it will automatically copy it into the target. So this is our source and this is our target. You need to click on to this button, copy source text. See, for me, this pop-up is coming. Do you want to override? Yes, I will override. For you, no pop-up will come because you are doing for the first time. If you already did for the first time, you will get same to same thing. I override. Now, now we will go for understanding here. We are getting 
each and every text which is in our Adobe form. If I will go for our Adobe form, SFP, you will see whatever we designed in the layout, we will get each and every text except the reusable text. I will come to that point. If I will go to the layout, I will copy and show you so that you can understand fully. I will copy this and show you in notepad itself so that you can understand that we are getting each and every text. Now you can see document category. We have document category. Okay, first text. Then we have username, username. Then we have item details, item details. Then we have net value, net value. Then we have sales document number, sales document number. Then we have item, then we have item. Then we have header details, header details. Then we have time, then we have time. Then we have creation date. You can see we have creation date. We got all that text, but have you seen whatever is here? It is not coming here. It is not coming here. This point we covered in the smart form also. Whenever you are displaying some text by using text module or include text, we have a different process for that translation. So as of now, whatever the text we will translate, these are your hard-coded text which you are writing by your own. If I will run this Adobe form, if you see, we are in this particular sub form, we are using text one. If you see text one, if I will show you text one, text one is our include text. If you see text one is our include text. If I will run this Adobe form. So we are getting sales order details, sales order details. This sales order details is coming through include text but it is not the part of translation as of now because include text and text module are reusable text. If you want to do that translation, we have different steps which we need to follow and that is covered in smart form topics also. So just remember, whatever the text you are writing here, in hard-coded, hard-coded means you are writing by your own in the layout. Only those we can translate at that point of time. If you have include text and text modules in your Adobe form, we will go for different process for the translation. Now, I will simply, simply go for the things. Now, now suppose we will change few text. Suppose firstly, we will go for sales order details. Anyways, that is include text we will do later. Sales order number. For sales order number, we will pass this text. So I will go here. Sales order number. Sales document number. We will take this. I pasted the text into German language. Now I will go to header details. This is header hyphen details. Now we will go for item details. So now I will put item details. This is item details. 
now i will go for activate once i will click on to activate you will automatically understand that why i told you it is one time translated then we cannot revert back if i will go for activation you can see we are getting this pop up you are going for active version and have status translated we cannot revoke the status so that's why i am unable to show you in red one time you translated yes the status will become after that translated yes so we translated so now what is the summary of the video in this video yes we went to sc63 transaction code we put the name of the adobe form source language target language you can do same to same thing through sfp also one and the same thing go for edit and first important point we discussed if you are going for translation for the first time you will get in red and the status will be not translated you will get a blank this will be totally blank you can simply simply click on to copy source text so everything will copy yes this is you have to do for the first time but i already did that's why i whenever i click here it is asking me do you want to overwrite after that we checked that whatever the text is available in the layout all are appearing here if you do the translation all are appearing except for the text module and include text because those are reusable text then what we did we simply simply provide the translated text for three text and we simply simply go for activate button when we click on to activate button we got one pop up that yes you want to active and the status will become translated in the next video we will see how to check the translated output and at that time you will get the most important point from the project perspective because that is our challenge whenever we will go for multiple time translation what we need to do at that point of time so that's it in this video thank you